Hello students, so here we have a new question. This question is based on electrostatics and simple harmonic motion. There are multiple concepts involved in this question. But even then it's not very difficult. Okay, it's easy to understand. So here we have got two small identical balls lying on a fixed horizontal plane. Okay, so these are the two balls. Okay, connected by a weightless spring. So they are connected by a spring over here. And I have written the spring constant to be K. In the question, this is not given, so our final answer should not contain k. Okay, the uh, one ball is fixed and the other ball is free. So ball two is fixed while the other ball is free to move. Okay, the balls are charged identically as a result of which the spring length increases two times. So the initially the balls were uncharged and now they are given equal charges. So let's say the charge given to them is Q for each of them. Okay. So due to which the length increases two times. So if you say that the initial length is L. Okay. Initial length is L. Final length will be how much? L plus increases two times means 2L. So that will be equal to 3L. Okay. Determine the change in frequency. Okay. So before charging the balls, before charging the balls, there is no electrostatic force between them. The only force between them will be the spring force. Okay. So before charging, you can say that the angular frequency, angular frequency omega will be under root k by m where m is the mass of the ball 1 we don't care about the mass of the ball 2 because it is fixed okay so this is your angular frequency <coughs> before charging sorry <coughs> now after charging what happens okay so after charging let's take a situation where after charging take situation when take elongation x okay so if the two balls are kept over here like this okay this is your ball 2 and then this is your ball 1 right and this is the spring over here okay and the spring will have length l plus x because l is the original natural length of the spring and the elongation is x okay so what are the forces acting on the ball in this case the spring will apply spring force in this direction kx and the electrostatic force between them will be how much q square by 4 pi epsilon naught l plus x whole square correct so what is the net force net force will be q square by 4 pi epsilon naught L plus X whole square minus KX. This is your net force on the ball one. Now from this position. Okay, first of all, let's do something else. The question says that after charging, the spring achieves a length which is increased by 2L. So the spring achieves the length 3L. And in this position, the spring will be in equilibrium. The ball one will be in equilibrium. So Let's solve for the equilibrium first. So for equilibrium, x equal to 2L and net force is 0. x equal to 2L and net force is 0. So put the values in this formula. So 0 is equal to Q square by 4 pi epsilon naught. x is equal to 2L. So L plus 2L will be 3L. Okay, so 9L square minus Kx. Okay, and x is again 2L. Okay, so from here I obtain Q square by 4 pi epsilon naught is equal to 18 KL cube. Okay, this is the relation I obtained and I will use it further. Okay, now. So again, let's take this uh, diagram with us. Let's take this with us. 
so here we have it again so what is the net force now equal to so q square by 4 pi epsilon naught is how much uh, 18 kl cube so this is equal to 18 kl cube by l plus x whole square minus kx okay this is your net force okay now if i displace the block further by small displacement dx then what will happen so the force will change such that df by dx will be how much i differentiate this formula so 18 k l cube is a constant differentiation of 1 by l plus x whole square will give you minus 2 divided by l plus x whole cube and minus k okay differentiation of this will give you minus k so from here i obtain df net is equal to minus 18 k l cube sorry 18 times 2 36 36 k l cube by l plus x whole cube plus k times dx okay so from position x if i take a small displacement dx then the force changes by this much amount okay now what happens if if x equal to 2l that is the equilibrium position if x equal to 2l the equilibrium position so okay so this is your equilibrium position let's say here's your ball 2 here's your spring and here's your sphere or ball 1 so if i'm displacing from the equilibrium position by dx then df net is equal to minus 36 k l cube by put x equal to 2 l so 9 l cube okay not 9 27 l cube okay plus k times dx this is your net force when you have a displacement dx from equilibrium and obviously at the equilibrium the ball is not going anywhere equilibrium position is the mean position of oscillation equilibrium is mean position of oscillation and from mean position you take a displacement dx and then you obtain the force equal to this value now this is similar to having df net equal to minus k dash times dx this is your new spring constant this is your new spring constant k dash okay so take the value of k dash will be how much k dash will be uh this l cube will cancel out and 27 and 36 will be uh, divided by 9 so what do you get 4 k by 3 plus k so that is 7 k by 3 this is your k dash this is the new equivalent spring constant and therefore about the equally uh, about the equilibrium position the angular frequency now will be how much so new angular frequency of shm about new equilibrium about the new equilibrium will be omega dash will be under root k dash by m and therefore omega dash by omega will be how much under root k dash by m divided by under root k by m so this is under root k dash by k and k dash is equal to 7 k by 3 so omega dash by omega will be root of 7 by 3 this will be your answer okay however i want to add one more thing over here uh, in the question what does it say the length increases two times this is slightly ambiguous okay this is slightly ambiguous okay uh, what i have taken is the length increases two times from original so the new equilibrium length is 3l but there's also a possibility that the author of the question means that the final length is 2L. Okay. So, if I say that change equal to L, that is X is equal to L. So, the new length will be how much? L plus L. So, that will be 2L. 
here in my previous solution, I have taken the new length to be 3L. But there's a possibility that the new length could mean to be 2L. I don't know where the question belongs to. It is from which book, but both are possible because the language is slightly ambiguous. So let's try to solve according to this uh, values as well. Okay, so first of all, we need to find the equilibrium position. So this is, uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, you have to use this formula to find the equilibrium position. Okay, so let's copy this formula. Let's copy this formula and find the new equilibrium. Okay, so for equilibrium, for equilibrium, x is equal to L. Okay, so Q square by 4 pi epsilon naught times 4 L square is equal to K L. Right, L plus L will be 2 L, whole square will be 4 L square, and here we need to put K L. Okay, so from here you will obtain Q square by 4 pi epsilon naught is equal to 4 K L cube. Okay, then now we use it in the uh, formula for DF net. So here we have df net is 36 kl cube by l plus x whole, scu whole cube. But instead now, uh, instead of 18 kl cube, what do I have to put? Uh, just a minute. Hmm. So q square by 4 pi naught will be? How much will be your uh, let's use this formula. So F net first of all, let's write down. Okay, so F net will be equal to Q square by 4 epsilon will be 4 K L cube. So 4 K L cube by L plus X whole square minus K X. This is your F net. So now D F net by D X will be equal to minus 8 K L cube by L plus X whole cube minus k so df net is equal to minus uh 8 k l cube by l plus x whole cube plus k times dx okay and if x is equal to l now then what do you obtain you will get this to be equal to k dash so k dash will be equal to 8 k l cube by 2 l whole cube plus k so 2 cube and 8 will cancel out okay so this will cancel out so we get k dash to be equal to 2k and therefore omega dash will be under root k dash by m so omega dash by omega will be under root k dash by k so that will be equal to root 2 so the new angular frequency will be root 2 times the previous frequency okay